It's your doctor's top priority to make you feel well-informed and comfortable with your treatment options. If you're watching this video, you're visiting our practice to have your third molars, also known as wisdom teeth, extracted. In this presentation, we will review the expectations for today's appointment, some common reasons why we remove wisdom teeth, the risks of removing your wisdom teeth, and the expectations for your recovery. If you have any questions after watching this video, your doctor will be happy to answer them during your consultation. You may need to have your wisdom teeth removed for a variety of reasons. They may be growing into your mouth and causing problems, or you may be removing them early to prevent future complications. No matter the circumstance, it's important to understand what wisdom teeth are and why they tend to cause oral health problems if they're not removed. Occasionally, the third molars have enough space to grow without posing a threat to the rest of your healthy teeth. Unfortunately, wisdom teeth usually must be removed to prevent future problems. If wisdom teeth aren't detected and removed early, they can push your healthy teeth forward and cause crowding in the front of your mouth. Their deep pockets in the gum tissue create a space for bad bacteria to live. This can cause infections, cysts, or tumors to develop if wisdom teeth aren't removed early, which can severely impact the healthy teeth and bone. Early removal of your wisdom teeth can help you avoid these painful complications and the need for additional treatment. If you're undergoing wisdom teeth extractions, some diagnostic imaging may be necessary to create your treatment plan. Wisdom teeth are often detected underneath the gums before they grow into the mouth completely, making it impossible to determine the best plan for removal without 3D x-ray scanning. It's important for your doctor to understand the relationship of your wisdom teeth and the other structures in your mouth, such as your healthy teeth, nerves, and bone, prior to surgery. If you have wisdom teeth in the lower jaw, the nerve that runs along your lower jaw bone will be evaluated. It's imperative to locate the placement of this nerve as damage to it can cause temporary or even permanent numbness in the jaw area. 3D imaging allows your oral surgeon to properly evaluate the area surrounding the wisdom tooth and prevent damage to this nerve during removal. If you have not received a 3D x-ray prior to visiting this office, you may receive one during your consultation appointment. We understand that you may be anxious or nervous about undergoing treatment. It's your doctor's top priority to make you feel safe, comfortable, and well-informed before, during, and after your surgery. A variety of anesthetic options are available to make your procedure more relaxing and pleasant. Many patients choose to undergo this treatment under IV sedation. This is an ideal option if you'd prefer to be asleep during surgery. During IV sedation, you will drift off into a sleep-like state and wake up when the procedure is over. When you wake up, your mouth will be numb and you will not have any pain. Most patients say that the treatment is over before they even knew it started. Other sedative options for wisdom teeth removal may include local anesthesia and nitrous oxide sedation, or laughing gas. Your health history and preferences will be evaluated during your consultation to select the best anesthetic option for you. Your doctor will provide you with important preoperative instructions before your surgery date. Adhering to these instructions is critical for your safety when undergoing anesthesia. After administering the chosen anesthetic option, your wisdom teeth will be carefully removed and sutures will close the empty sockets for healing. Your numbing medication should wear off over a couple of hours after your surgery. You will want to eat a small amount of food prior to this time to avoid nausea when you take the prescribed pain medication. Your doctor will provide you with detailed instructions for the care of your mouth before and after your surgery. It is critical that you follow these instructions to best position yourself for a successful recovery. It's not uncommon for our patients to express that they have had some mild swelling, pain, or bleeding during the healing period, which then subsided after a few days. There's some amount of risk associated with any surgery treatment, including the extraction of wisdom teeth. Discomfort, bleeding, bruising of the skin, and swelling are not uncommon after the removal of a tooth. Usually within a few days, these symptoms will subside. Your doctor will give you a prescription for any discomfort. You will also receive instructions regarding other potential post-operative issues. It's possible that an infection may develop or that the adjacent structures, such as healthy teeth, the jawbone, or the nerve which provides sensation to your lip, chin, or tongue, will be damaged during the treatment. The risk of bumping or bruising this nerve is very low, but may result in a temporary change in the sensation of the lips, chin, or tongue. There is a significantly lower risk that this change will be permanent. It's possible that your upper wisdom teeth project into your sinuses, which are located above your upper teeth and behind your cheekbones. If this is the case, there's an increased risk of sinus complications, which may require additional surgery. Irritation of the tooth socket, called dry socket, 
may occur following treatment. Dry socket occurs when the blood clot that normally fills the extraction site dissolves and the bone becomes exposed. This can cause the bone to become very irritated before resolving. It is possible that you will experience a fracture in your jawbone, adjacent teeth, or fillings as a result of surgery. If you have crowns adjacent to the surgical area, they may be removed. Pain in the jaw joint, or TMJ, and a change in your bite are also possible results of surgery. It is possible that small root tips are left behind during treatment. This will only occur if their removal puts you at a greater risk for further injury. If you experience any of the complications above, further treatment will be necessary. Normally, these complications do not occur and you will recover within a few days after surgery. The risks of undergoing anesthesia for your surgery are typically very low. Anesthesia and prescribed medications may cause you to experience drowsiness, lack of awareness, and lack of coordination following treatment. Do not operate a vehicle for 24 hours after surgery. You may also experience inflammation or pain in the vein used to give the intravenous medications. This is normal and will typically subside over the course of a few days. Oral and maxillofacial surgeons have received the highest licensure and training available to dental professionals for administering anesthesia, and oral surgery teams are well trained and equipped to handle emergency situations. You can assist in minimizing the risks associated with undergoing anesthesia by completely disclosing your health history and any medications you're taking, whether they are prescribed by a doctor or not. You can also help by adhering to the preoperative instructions provided by your doctor. Both of these actions can significantly lower the risks associated with the use of anesthesia. We hope that you have found this video helpful in understanding your upcoming treatment, the benefits of undergoing wisdom teeth removal, and the risks associated with your surgery. If you have any questions after viewing this video, we encourage you to ask your doctor, even if you may be hesitant to do so. This will allow your care team to provide you with all the information you need to understand your treatment and instructions for post-surgical care.